Welcome to Fuzzy Dragons, and I am drawing a portrait, and I'm doing actually the one week portrait challenge, and I'll link down below the, the portrait challenge. Now, I don't, do, I mean, I draw people, but I don't draw, like, just focus on portraits, and I don't generally, really, I don't actually draw any portraits with darker skin, so I thought I would draw, if you know, a portrait with darker skin, because I need practice doing, like, you know, different skin, you know, um, Different ethnicities, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, Ethnic origins. Yes, that's even better. Because life drawing class, we had a uh, very, very, all we had were very, very white, sort of pretty models and stuff. There were now, you know, no, no different body types and stuff, which you need in life drawing class, but we didn't. So, but. See, that's what you should have done if you want to draw people of different ethnicities. Was put a, a thing, like a thing up on a notes board, right? mm -hmm. like an email address or a number, mm -hmm. saying, you know, um, art student looking for like morals of various ethnicities, male, female, any other presentation, yeah. you know, 20, 10, 20 pounds an hour. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's someone true. Someone would have possibly done it, you know? That's true, yeah, that is true. But, uh, yeah, because you, you need to have different shapes, sizes, colors, different, you know, in life drawing. Because not, not, everybody, not everybody looks the same. And, you I know, mean, that's the good thing, though. You want you don't want to draw the same thing. Which is why, I really, the one college, life drawing class, it was, like, always the same models and stuff. And it was like, okay, I get it, the teacher really likes her, but... We don't get to draw any other shapes. It was extremely frustrating. And actually, I remember asking her, "Are we gonna draw any other like body types or males?" And because it was always females, and she's like, "No." And I was like, "Okay, fine." But so I just, like I said, I decided to draw a darker skin person because I didn't. I've never really drawn them before, and this is just a basic portrait. And I got the reference photo off of a graphite or graffiti graphite however you say it. I don't know their my reference packs that they have because they're really quite good I can't remember exactly which reference pack it was in I think it was one of their actually free sample ones I think I can't remember but so yeah and I the brush I'm using I can't remember I think this is a textured oil brush I think I don't remember but I'm using Clep Studio I could have used Painter but for some reason, I was like, okay, I'll try to get a little bit more efficient in Clip Studio. And this is actually sped up, but it seems like I'm going really slow. But I'm not. I'm actually spying this up about 300%, which is I think, a lot, but it's not really. But, so, the whole point of this was to break the shapes down into what you make it easier to draw. So you do, like, a base color. So, obviously, I pick, like, a... Like a darkest brownish olivish kind of color. I can't remember exactly what you use for the base color. And then you do the highlights, and then you focus on the shadows, and then you can blend it, blend it all together. So the whole thing is to get all that finished, and then add detail, which I do end up doing. Now the hair, the hair, I kind of messed up with the hair, but I, like I said, I blame on the fact that I've never drawn this t type of ha textured hair before. Which actually, in the end, I quite like the way it looks. But you do see that I struggle later on about trying to make it look sort of right but I could have used different brushes yeah probably but I kind of like this brush <laughs> and it works really well I thought for the, sh the um, highlights and stuff now I ended up keeping some of the sketch lines because I like the way they look but with this the brush it's, like I said it's a very st straight kind of brush and stuff but I like I like the way it builds up colors, and I'm just building up the highlights again and sort of blending them, and focusing the lights coming from the top would have been the top left if you're, if you're looking at the screen. But like I said, focus on the color bones and stuff and the highlights, and I'm repeating myself. I'm well aware of that. And the ha basic hair. Now I should have done the hair at the same time I was doing the rest of it, but I kind of broke it down into separate parts like body details hair, which I should have been working on all at once, because I normally do that, but for some reason I didn't for this. Well, actually, no, I know why he didn't for this, because he breaks it actually down himself that way, so I thought, what the hell, I'll try it a different way to see if it works for me. And it doesn't really work for the way I work, so I just go back to working on everything all at once, <laughs> pretty much. So jumping around the canvas and stuff, but I do that traditionally, too. I jump all the way around the canvas. It's just... Yeah, she has no focus. No, I don't. It's... I don't know if that's the ADHD or if that's just me. Well, ADHD, probably. Probably. I've just seen the weirdest thing. What did you see? Have you seen Dodgeball the movie, you know, VS yeah. ESPN 8, the ultra, the obscure sports network. It's well, there's a Reddit community on that, which is the same thing. This one, Testy Fest 2023. Tesco Festival with a ball eating contest. It uh, also has 
The Undy 800 Wet T-shirt Contest, Libby's Oil Wrestling, Ball Eating Contest, Truck and Motorcycle Show, Beard Contest, Ball Throwing Contest, and Topless Sack Races. Okay then. Um... The venue's interested in going to the Bentonville Fairgrounds, <laughs> August 24th to 27th. Go for your beer, balls, <laughs> band, and camping. Oh god. Testyfest.us. <laughs> or the phone number 1 800 Eat Nuts. Oh god. Perfect. <laughs> the poster's great. It's got it's like very... pigs and cows yeah. and bulls and maybe I'll put an insert thing here. Oil wrestling. Maybe I'll insert it somewhere here on the corner or something that's easy enough to do. Yeah, we'll just flick it. Yeah, just I'll look at it. But it is a it's, cracker. Yeah, that's just him sending me that. And I don't really have nothing to say for once about this. It's a portrait that I kind of figured way too freaking pale there, way too pale. Um, I do end up fixing that, but it's way too pale there. I can tell that for a fact. Now the hand on this, I kind of I did. I could have finished the hand on this, but, but I didn't finish the hand. At the end, I was like, I'll show you the image. What? I can see it. Yeah, I can see. I saw it when you. Yeah, that's very. Uh, what the hell? Anyway, yeah, that's uh. I don't know what the cows look like, what, you know, like... There's bulls or pigs. There's pigs. Is this kind of influence metal men or pigs or something? I don't know. And a uh, woman with a G-string bikini on in shorts getting power slammed by another girl in G-string bikini. Is it a pool of jelly? Who it's knows? It's going to be an oil pool or something. Oil pool, okay, so it's not like the thing, you know. I'm fascinated. It's almost like a train wreck. I kind of want to go yeah. see it. You know it's going to be terrible, but you just can't look yeah, away from it. Yeah, exactly. You know? That is quite, yeah. Hmm. He said, I definitely have to, hopefully I haven't started that, because it's kind of like, Ooh. but anyway, the portrait challenge, I don't know how I found out about it, probably on Instagram, actually, of all things, um, probably, because I, cause I don't have an ad blocker on my tablet, so that's probably how I found this, because it doesn't block any, like, ads and stuff, so random stuff, shit will show up on Instagram, um, but, uh, so yeah, I joined the Discord group, too, so I've got a Discord group, I'll put the, I'll put the link, like I said, down below, and for once, I actually have nothing to say, which is a shocker. It's a portrait. What do you say about a portrait when ultimately it didn't actually turn out? But, you know, I know what I did wrong. I know what I can do right in the future. It's just practice. Practice, 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 practice. More practice. Do you need to practice 24-7? No. Do you need to practice a bit? Yes. Do you need to draw every day? No. Do I draw every day? Yes. <laughs> but you don't have to draw every day. And, and I... You, you need to study every once in a while. But what, whatever you're studying, though, it has to be... <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> Pardon me, yeah, sorry. It has to be Indication. productive. So if you're studying anatomy, you don't have to draw like hands over and over again. You can draw whatever, but you're studying anatomy, you, you study it. You, you break things down so they work for you. Not one way of working and studying is going to work for everybody else. Like the Loomis method for heads and stuff, it's not going to work for everybody. There's so many different ways of drawing like heads on people that one of them might fit, you know, fit you, or you go and make your own, and figure out what fits for yourself. But I mean, I had the luxury of going to, every school I went to growing up, uh, like from kindergarten to grade 12, 13, they're 12, um, I had really good art schools for, what, the, what they, are they like that now? Probably not. But all the high schools and middle schools stuff had really good art programs, so I took them and I took some of them twice, because <laughs> um, just because they wouldn't let me, you know, I was, wasn't old enough to just like take like the uh, afternoon off, so I had to take some kind of courses. But not everybody asks you, do you have to go to school to be an artist? No. Does it help? Yes. But you can also learn everything that you learn at school, whether it's middle school, college, university, online now. So if you really can't afford to go to uni the one plus is you're getting face to face yeah. critique on what you're doing. And you sometimes are. Some when you do something, why isn't this working? You do you know, need somebody it. Somebody says it's because you're pressing too hard. Yeah. Someone actually sees what you're doing. Yeah. Or that's totally the wrong pencil for yeah. that. Or that's the wrong pastel. Yeah. I mean, or this is the wrong medium you've used on the And some people right. need that. They, they they realize they need that interaction with people to learn. But like me with my welding course. Yeah. I Per, throw with the year. did a welding course in the first five minutes, I got told exactly what I was doing wrong. Yeah. Well, look, your arc length way too long. Yeah. That's what you're doing wrong. You're holding the welding rod way too yeah. far off the surface. I mean, as soon as I fix that, yeah. I was like, I like going, ah. I mean, if I could do school, college, college, no, if I could do university over again, would I do it? Sure. You're sending me more messages? No, it's just do it because it's reminding oh. me. Oh. Um, 
Uh, I'm straight thought there. Yeah, would I do? Would I go back to university if I could? If I could afford it? Yeah. Would I do a PhD or would I redo something else? I don't know. I possibly would go into animation. Possibly if I had to do an art thing or product design, one or the other. And uh, so yeah, if I could afford to do it again, but then again, if I could afford to go back to the un university start again, I would just use the money towards a PhD. You know. So that's what I probably would do. Is my PhD gonna be art related? No, <laughs> not so much. It's more science fiction related. But back to what I was saying, you don't need to go to school to be an artist. It can help a lot, but you don't need it. I mean, if people are like, you know, student loans and all the, you know, I was lucky. I, I, pay, I have student loans, but I only have to pay them back once I start earning a certain amount of money. Some people have student loans and they have to start paying them back when they, as soon as they finish university. And it's like, I'm glad I don't have to do that. If you can't afford to do that, don't go to university, pretty much, because universities are not cheap. You can try to get scholarships, obviously. If you can, great. That'll be great. But to be an artist, you do not have to like draw like Picasso or Mona Lisa or anything like that. Any, any, you know, or I can't think of his name. You do that big blue painting. It's just blue. I can't remember his name. But you don't have to, you know, you do not have to go to school to be an artist. It's plain and simple. You don't let anybody say that you have to because you don't. It can help some people, it can actually hurt some people, and some people, you know, can help maybe help, like, ba like as I was saying, bad mistakes, how you're doing something wrong, or maybe give you a way to, different way of doing something, but at the same time, it can maybe suck the life out of you, <laughs> honestly. If you get stuck doing what you really don't want to do, or stuck with people you don't really like, you're stuck with them for a year or four years or more. And that's not the course's fault, though. That's, that's not the course's fault, you. that's the people around you. If you but think of the fact of getting to prison, your biggest problem was because you want to focus, I would say, okay, so what did they see in its effects? Oh, nothing. And then, remember, like, two years or was yeah, it? Yeah, I finished, don't know, something like that. I happened to kill it by, and I found there was tons of feedback. I was like, so there's all stuff you're not supposed to I, I blame that on the, I blame that on the ADHD. Now, if I had been diagnosed with ADHD, see, you're struggling, see me struggling with the hair here. If I had been diagnosed with ADHD at the time of university, would it have helped? Fuck yeah, it would have helped. I probably wouldn't have done graphic design. I probably would have done, you know, product design, or I would have done, um, oh bloody hell, animation, like I said, or marine biology, or, or I would have just went back to originally, yeah, if I would have went back to college and got my sciences that I need would need to go do marine biology, stuff like that, you know, I would have done that. But I didn't get diagnosed until I was later in life, like a lot of people. But if I had a, for marine, for marine biology, you definitely need to go to college and university for unfortunately. And you need sciences and stuff in high school. But for artists, no. <laughs> That's Jenny's eating by a shark. Fuck eating by a shark, oh god, yeah. I'd be like, swimming along, and oh shit, there's a great white. Oh, crap. Actually, great whites don't attack people as much as people think they do. Tiger sharks. Tiger sharks, or, yeah, tiger sharks eat a lot of... They found license plate in tiger sharks, you know what I mean? They eat anything. Jim, you're the only person surviving the car, and the tiger shark see Jim run the other way. Yeah. Look, you little fucker, I'm not yeah, taking your shit exactly. today. Exactly. I said, if you were a fire, I could oh. have seen <laughs> you or I, it would yeah. have been... God, I know. A you would have braille. Look, I'm uh, not taking your fucking shit today. Yeah, exactly. Fuck around and find out. But, uh, that's his new favorite phrase. Fuck around and find out, it's great phrase. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had a very short talk about me saying you don't need to go to art school and you don't. Now, I eventually do figure, like, this is completely off track there. Now, I eventually do figure out how I like to do this hair to make it kind of look like curly and stuff like that. And very, like, a tight kind of uh, texture to it. And I, at the end, I kind of like the way it looks like. Could I work on it more? Sure. But I wasn't going to spend any more time on this because I got other shit to do, <laughs> you know? And uh, so I was like, okay, spend a week ish, week and a bit. So I failed the challenge technically, but you know, I can always keep trying again. I didn't fail really portrait wise. I figured out what I can do and what I like to do with portraits. The portrait itself is a fail, it's not finished. <laughs> but. Now, why does that fail? It's not, it's not so much a fail because it fa it's a fail because it's not finished. But it's not so much a fail like like I said. I'm f trying to figure out, trying well, to figure it's stylized. out. stylized. Yeah, I, well, go. I'm not gonna smart. work on it anymore. But I like the way it cut things, cut like the shadows and stuff. It's a little bit lighter than it probably should be. But I do like the way the hair looked out because I was trying to figure out, finally figure out how to work on the hair and stuff. Now if I had gone to art school and did portraits, could I get help with portraits? Sure. But I didn't go to art school for portraits. I would, even college, we didn't do any portraits. We went made like a bunch of random crack, cr crack, crap in, in college, and the college, uh, graphic design is very like, this is how you do it, this is how you do it, even illustration would have been this, we're doing this, 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 animation, same thing, doing this, doing that, 
fine art, do whatever the hell you want. You might not end up working at McDonald's asking people if you want fries with that. But, you know, I could have done fine art, but after f four years of college, three, four years of college, I was sick of doing fine art stuff. So, even though that's technically what I'm trained in, but hey, whatever. So, yeah, me rambling about, this is a very kind of all over the place, but kind of a boring video, but hey, I apologize for that. So, uh... Like, share, subscribe, ring the little notification bell, uh, leave a comment if you want, or if you can think of anything to say. You don't have to, but it's always nice when people do. And I'll be back, uh, I don't know actually, when I finish something. <laughs> That's when I'll be back. Okay, bye.